Speaking of laughing at things, let's finish this up strong. The last match of the night, the street fight. And I thought this might be good. Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara, we've liked them. Obviously, you know, we've been talking good about Guevara. Jericho's had good matches against Olivier. Well, you know, but and the debut of Matt Hardy. Okay, this is, you got some name value. You got some star power. It's main event match. I thought this was going to be good. I forgot that there's nobody in control here, that ever the inmates are being left to their own devices. Yes, Olivier came to the ring making his insufferable twat faces and gesticulating wildly. But once they, once they all got out there, they jump-started it and off they went. And yes, Olivier's brawling looks like shit because he can't do it, but they were in and out of the fucking ring and it was fast-paced and it picked up and boom, boom, boom. And the action was wild. And then suddenly uh, Matt and Jericho leave but then Jericho comes back. They've gone through the entranceway. Jericho comes back, and Jericho and Guevara are double teaming the piss out of Olivier, and they're beating shit out of him, beating shit out of him. And finally, here comes Matt Hardy, and he jumps in and makes a comeback. And I thought at first I was like, "Wait a minute, what the fuck?" And I had to back the the. I had to rewind the show to see before he left. When he came back out, he had changed his clothes. He was dressed in a different outfit. He was dressed like, I guess, like the Hardys used to dress years ago or whatever. Is that what we were supposed to to get out of that? Yes. He has gone from teleportation to outfit changes. So what now, right off the, in the start of this match, in the first segment, Matt Hardy's long-awaited wrestling debut on all elite wrestling partners with supposedly the world's greatest wrestling artist against the top heel group with Jake Hager in the corner. The heels are kicking the shit out of Olivier and Matt Hardy took time to change his clothes before he came back to the ring to help out. So this is now immediately garbage. And by the way, apparently when he changes his clothes, his personality changes as well. Well, I don't care. It's fucking stupid and it's phony and now it's not real. And the, and Olivier is not in any kind of real trouble because his partner wouldn't come out and help him when he had the chance before he changed clothes for no reason. And then Matt makes a comeback. And then Jericho, Chris, what the fuck has happened? Are you, is the COVID affected your brain? Chris Jericho gets a baseball bat and hits Kenny Olivier with it twice, gut shot and back shot, and Olivier immediately foils Sammy Guevara's off the top rope move and was back up on offense, the very next thing. And then both Olivier and Matt Hardy go out of the ring and go under the ring and start looking for weapons, tables and ladders when they've left a loose baseball bat laying in the ring in plain sight. They've walked past the baseball bat that they could just pick up and just bash the fuck out of their fucking opponents with to go under the ring and find shit that they can set up, set their opponents onto, and then jump off of things through the, the, the oh, fucking hell. So they get a ladder and they get a table and they put Guevara on the table and Matt Hardy splashes off the ladder through the table and gets a two count because Jake Hager pulls the referee out. The baseball bat's still laying there. Nobody's caring about it anymore because it's not time for that spot yet. And they go to a break with picture in picture, which I don't ever watch because it's too small and I don't give a shit. But by the time they come back, they have fought out not only in the arena, but the outer arena, the concourses and the hallways, and <clears throat> they're headed next door to the football stadium. And a fight in the outer arena would be great if they hadn't done this at least three times so far this year. At least three that I remember. And besides that, if it was a fight that had gotten out of hand and went there, that'd be great, but we already know it's not a fight because they've already been stupid and phony in the first segment and ignored things like loose baseball bats laying around because they weren't supposed to use them and changed clothes in the middle of a fucking brawl. Then they put Matt Hardy in the fucking ice machine, which I admit 
if I had seen an ice machine there and we were going to do a fight there, I would have wanted somebody to go in the ice machine. But I would have not have wanted them to come out of the ice machine later on having changed clothes again. He changed back in the ice machine to what he was originally wearing. Did he not? He absolutely did. Am I hallucinating? It may seem like you were, but no, this is what actually happened. Sport-based wrestling. Sport-based wrestling right after Sammy Guevara ran Kenny Olivier into the ATM and then pulled money out of it. Um, so the heels are doing the comedy stuff here, not even the baby faces. Then Matt Hardy comes out of the ice machine dressed differently. And Matt gets a golf cart and clips Jericho with it very lightly. <laughs> and Jericho got a spun off because he's like, what the fuck? I'm not going to fucking cripple myself for this. But then he ran over Sammy Guevara. And Guevara took a hell of a bump. Imagine if they'd have saved, if they'd actually had a real match that people thought they were serious about and then saved that for when they, after the fucking finish when they fought for 90 seconds out somewhere and then they did the run over the guy with the fucking golf cart. Maybe it would have been cool. But that's the second guy that had just got hit with a golf cart in the previous minute and a half. Then... Matt Hardy puts Jericho on a table and Olivier was going to the top of a scissors lift to come off onto it, but they fucking saved Jericho. So Kenny Olivier moonsaulted onto everybody and hit his own partner as well as his opponents. But here came Santana and Ortiz and they interfered and they power bombed Matt Hardy through the table. And then Jericho power bombed, Olivier on top of the golf cart and then hit the Judas effect and both Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara pinned Kenny Olivier out on the football field AstroTurf. This sounds like what I was reading from the Maryland State Athletic Commission earlier. Stupid. What the fuck? I couldn't delete this fast enough. And w <laughs> this is their main event guys that are obviously doing joke, phony corny bullshit when they're supposed to be mad at each other so they better like the existing fan base they have they have because that's all they're going to get and once that that existing fan base gets tired of this thin talent roster and these contrived stunts what are they going to do then they've only been on television for six months and to not even promote not even shoot an angle for a pay-per-view match or not even to get a new guy over or whatever. They're just doing this shit on TV because they've got the ability to do this shit on TV. Where do they go from here? Next time it's not a, it's not a golf cart. It's a rider truck that runs over the guy or now they got to fight on the roof of the fucking stadium or they got to goddamn go out in the fucking parking lot and cross the street and go into somebody else's business or that, whatever the fuck it's, they've only been on television for six months. They're not even trying to do this to increase business. They're just doing it to goddamn put shit out there. Cause Tony Khan's a fucking Mark and the guys are convinced they're all stars and that anything they do, people are going to get a tickle out of. And they can't be saved for them, from themselves from being stupid and silly to get their own selves over because there's no Bill Watts or Dusty Rhodes or fucking or a Dutch Mantel or goddamn any competent booker to say, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to do fucking this and you're going to fucking like it or you can go back and try to get your money from Vince again. There are different styles of wrestling. Everybody says, well, it's just a different style of wrestling. It's just a different, it's, there's all kinds of styles of wrestling. Yes, there are all kinds of styles of wrestling. But this shit ain't any of them. Yes, if you have a sports-based presentation, Mid-South Wrestling was good for fucking collegiate wrestlers that had turned pro and were real shooters, and it was also good for football players and beer drinkers and tough guys and brawls, and it was also good for high spot matches. But you wouldn't do a dick spot. You wouldn't have the invisible man because that wouldn't make any sense. 
You would have, if, if you went to Florida, you'd have great wrestling on the card, a Jack Briscoe, an NCAA champion. You'd have a wild, bloody mayhem like Dusty Rhodes. You'd have the British world of sports style, Billy Robinson or Tony Charles underneath. But you wouldn't have a goddamn dick spot or an invisible man or a guy changing clothes in the ice machine because it wouldn't make any sense. And it doesn't fit at all. It's not a style of wrestling. It's a completely different other thing. And if that's what they're doing, then that's what they're doing. But the people they get are going to be the people that they get. And they've got the people they're going to get with this shit. If they can't, if even the main event guys can't be serious enough to pull you into something and get over based on we're going to have a fight and you're going to want to see it, then it's just a fucking vaudeville show. It's just a fucking clown show. And nobody's going to prosper. So that, and, and, and once again, six months, and they've been all over the arena, and people are being run down by golf carts and fucking moonsaulted off fucking scissors lifts. Where do they go from here? And who's going to go that far? <laughs>